Well, that was unexpected. What on earth is this thing? I can't help but feel like Iskal is responsible for this. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> Iskal's super silly, super fun, bouncy castle. Partners only. Oh, so this, this is how he's going to get me into partnership with him. I mean, I do really need slime blocks, and I do have a ridiculous quantity of iron blocks. Like, my iron farm is doing really, really well. And I really want to go into this bouncy castle. I really, really want to go into this bouncy castle. Well, need I say any more? Uh, I think it's safe to say that the partnership has been accepted. And I I've bounced myself to death. I've actually bounced myself to death. That's quite impressive. Anyway, I guess I probably should let Iskal know that I've actually accepted the deal. And I think I've thought of a fairly interesting way of doing it. Right, whereabouts is all my iron? Ah. Uh... I mean, I would say that is probably enough. Now, I'm really hoping that this jungle temple appears on the map. Yes, it does. Okay, that's good. Is it obviously a jungle temple? I feel like that's kind of obviously a jungle temple. Maybe if the person looking at the map is Sherlock Holmes. The good news is this thing's being constructed relatively close to where Iskal is building his enormous base, so he should be able to spot it. Anyway, I'm building a gigantic yes above the jungle. And this is definitely requiring a little bit more iron than I was expecting. Uh, yeah, I've, I've totally run out. What's that? Eight stacks of iron blocks? It does look very cool, though. We might not actually have enough iron to finish this thing. That would be super embarrassing. Thankfully, we do have just about enough. These are the final iron blocks going in here. And this is what it looks like. Let me just jump across to that tree. I didn't actually think I was going to make that then. <laughs> okay, I would say I would say that's good enough. Um, now I have to find somewhere to put this in Iskal's base. And then I remembered that you can actually duplicate maps. So I tried my best to cover his base in maps. Now obviously leather is still my limiting factor here. It's the one thing that I struggle to get the most of. <laughs> like honestly, I have so many more diamonds than I have access to leather. It drives me around the bend. But I've covered his base in a bunch of maps telling him yes. Yes, I do want to be partnered up with him. So hopefully... I'll receive a message from him soon. And even more hopefully, it's in the form of another bouncy castle because, you know, I can't get enough of those things. Anyway, what is the plan for today's Hermitcraft episode? Well, as I'm sure you remember, uh, in the previous episode, yeah, Hermit challenges happened. Uh, I met up with Grim, we did some Hermit challenges stuff. I challenged him to remove all the front doors of the Hermitcraft server, which clearly, clearly <laughs> he has begun doing. Uh, so now, now I've got to get good, whatever that means. I mean, how does one just get good? Like what does, what do I even get good at? Hello. 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 Hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I've got a better idea. <laughs> Hello. All right, why are you oh. here? What are you doing? What, what's going on? I see you've built a bouncy well, castle outside my house, so come on now. What isn't are you... it wonderful? It is, it is rather fantastic. <laughs> yep, yep. As a partner, you're, of course, allowed to use it as well. And now we're partners. Mamba, we are partners. Yes. Yeah. We, and I, th I figured I'd come over here because we need to discuss the terms. Yeah, we never actually ended up discussing the terms simply because I had a burning question up inside of me and I knew that Iska would know the answer. Okay. Iska, how do you get good? Get good? Yeah, how, how do you get good? Because actually, now that I think about it, when I think of someone who I would say is good, like in terms of, not morally, morally, we're definitely not. Okay, but in terms of like <laughs> Minecraft, <laughs> she, she actually going on with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm totally going along with that. Okay. So, yeah. In terms of just Minecraft alone, all right, I would consider you good. Well, first you have to have you have to have a base. So. Okay. Check, check, sort of. Yeah. Check. Gonna yeah. have a storage system. Definitely yeah. a big, big sort of. Yeah. It's big sort question of. mark on that. Big <laughs> yeah. question mark on that. We're getting one. there. Getting there. Let's see. You, you have to have enchanting. You have enchanting. Yeah. Another yeah. portal. That's all good. Yeah. You have to have some redstone stuff, which I saw down here. It continued like this for a little while, and I was passing the test with flying colors until. Yeah, you do kind of need an elytra and shulker boxes as well. No, I totally don't have those things. I haven't been to the end yet. I, I'm yet to go to the end. I don't have any form of Elytra. And I am Me very I'm I, very I, jealous I, of everyone see so everyone, everyone seems to just seems suddenly to be, flying. be flying around. Yes. <laughs> like what on yes. earth has happened? We we were the end busters last yeah. season and now it's like, oh well I uh, I have had this since day one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I'm I'm with you, dude. But this is what I mean when I say that you're maybe not morally good putting on those, those sorts of accents. So with that, uh, off we pop to the end. Oh, oh my God. How do I get into this thing? Oh, there's glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at how to be good. This is a big moment. Yep. Big moment. <laughs> oh, no, I Dude, just missed. Shoot me. <laughs> I just missed. Okay. Yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey! What? Uh, <laughs> yes! No, no, God, I got the first Jogger Boxes! Yes! No! I got the first Jogger Boxes of Hermitcraft uh, Season 7. Why am I the one to bridge everywhere? Uh, because you're just better than me. I'm just gonna watch from up here, dude. You do realize we've also got a really. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not looking <laughs> where we're going? Yep. <laughs> Yep, I know, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> just, just trust me, okay? I don't know if I. <laughs> I... It'd be fine. <laughs> It'd be alright. And after three hours of this, and only getting two shulker shells between us because all of the other end cities have been destroyed, uh, it's gonna reveal this. There's a shop. There's a shop for this stuff, is there? Yeah. For no, for the elytra. There's a shop for the lighter, so it would have been fast. I mean, it would have been faster because we've been doing this for three hours, and we have nothing. <laughs> well, we've got we've got a sugar box between us. Don't don't undersell us okay. quite that much. Yeah, we, we have got, a sugar box. box. We do have a sugar box between us to share. To share, you you know, I get it on the weekends. You get it on the weekdays. Everything like that. Okay. Yeah. But you mean to tell me that there, there's a literature for sale? <laughs> Why yeah, do I not yeah, know dude. this information? <laughs> And why are we here? Yep, let's buy the Elytra. Oh. Iskal. Iskal. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think to the name of my Elytra? Bumble Backwins. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. You just did. Oh, oh! How's this even come about? <laughs> <laughs> Like, seriously? Seriously? Dude! Oh, dude! 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 <laughs> you seem to be heading no, but in we're not. we're not gonna go through the portals. We have a stack of rockets each. Are you silly? We have mending and unbreaking on our wings. I'm... What do you mean, silly? I'm... Do you, I'm Are you daft? I'll see you later. I don't have unbreaking on mine. I don't have unbreaking on mine. Well, you better hope that we can find... Dude! Land. No, I'm not joking when I say I don't have... I know you don't. I only had one on Breaking Book. Are they not? Are they going to last? Eh, it's it's random, isn't it? They take damage without without unbreaking. Well, I've I've lost like quite a lot of durability already. I'm actually feeling sick. Iskal, <laughs> I feel sick. Iskal, I feel no. sick, and I've lost sight of you now. Iskal, I feel sick. How much durability have you lost? Uh, about nearly fifty. Well, it has 432. I feel sick. It is It is quite It is quite sickening to fly like this. It's kind of feel sick. Why are you changing direction, dude? Because <laughs> diagonally, we, we won't find anything for a while. It's kind of feel sick. <laughs> oh no, we're way too high up to see anything, I think. Oh yeah, we're, I'm at like 300. Yeah, I'm diving. Dude, I've lost sight of you. Stop! <laughs> I'm, I'm actually worried. Oh, no, 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 I found End City! We've, we've, we've been flying over End yes. Island this whole time! Yes! Yes! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I felt so sick, dude. I literally, <laughs> my my chest was in my throat, which was in my feet. Oh, I found one. I found End City. Mambo. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? I'm... No. No. What do no. you. Wait, why am I taking so much damage? Was that you? No. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. I can tell by the tone of your voice that it was you. Where are you? Can you give me some chords, please? Because I've lost all sight of everything. I'm at minus 19.30, minus 24.21. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so discombobulated. <laughs> Is that even a word? Discombobulated. Wait, what were you? What were you? Minus, twen minus 2,000, minus 2,500. <gasps> Where am I going? Oh! It's kind of like I was underneath the end! 
<laughs> wow. Are you okay? I'm going to have to take a moment. <laughs> oh, I feel sick. And clearly I didn't learn from my mistakes because... What? Iscal? What the... <gasps> you died. Oh no, you died. Mumbo. Watching back the footage... I was looking directly straight upwards and just falling out of the sky. I'm not good. That is yours. That's yours. That's definitely yours. I'm enchanted. Oh. That's definitely yours. I'm breaking two. Yeah, I'm embarrassed picking it all up, really. <sighs> yeah, I, that's rightfully so. <laughs> <laughs> rightfully so. Is there an axe in there, a shovel? Uh, there's an unenchanted axe, yeah. Yeah. That's probably yours. Yeah, there's an unenchanted <laughs> shovel as well. <laughs> Do you have to laugh while you're saying it? All right, I'm in the process of getting good. So here's the thing. We got 30 shells, which is 15 shulker boxes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But I thought, I thought you can't, you can't split 15 in two. So I thought, uh, we'd, we'd split the shells. That way, that way it'll be fair. And there's, there will be one useless shell in there, but at least I didn't throw them over the board. <laughs> Look, you saved my you saved my life, okay? Oh. Well, no, you didn't save my life, actually. No, you let me die, but then you picked up the pieces. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. Well, um, yeah, I think that was a successful end session. But I think there's a bit of a ways to go before I can actually consider myself good. Right, next up, we need to sort ourselves out with an ender chest. Which means we have to go back to this place. Obsidian and also ender pearls. I'm scared again. Right, I now have enough for three ender chests. So now we start this. I need to make sure there's no one I can teleport to behind me because that would have been bad news. All right, this is sort of stress-free, kind of. Not really. A bit stressed. I guess at least my elytra are getting repaired in the process. I suppose that's quite a big positive. How good am I at shooting? Not that good, apparently. Not that good. Yeah, getting a little bit embarrassing now. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. After a large number of failed attempts, I actually eventually managed to get us some on target. And now we are fully set up and ready. Yes. We are. And... We are. Now, I don't have a Silk Touch pickaxe at this point in time, so when I place down an Ender Chest, it's going to stay there, because otherwise I'm going to lose the Eye of Ender. So where's a good spot for it? I would say right here, just in front of my Nether Portal. Boom. Okay, so, now we need to get ourselves set up with the Shulker Boxes. And most importantly, what actually goes inside each one of the Shulker Boxes. So we've got seven in total. Let me try and work this out. Well, first things first, we've got an obvious one, the redstone shulker box. Then, of course, we've got the precious items shulker box. This one's looking rather lovely. Next up, there is the stone shulker box. Let's face it, that one's not really that interesting. Next, we have the wood box. This one is filled with all the different types of wood that I personally get. So, obviously, we've got oak wood, jungle wood, and then all of the other bits and pieces that I need. Obviously, all of these can be expanded upon. Then, we have the handy items shulker box. This is filled with all the stuff that I just regularly need whenever I'm in the middle of building something but don't want to carry with me at all times so things like hose bone meal torches water buckets anvils now this shulker box right here is going to be for firework rockets obviously right now i don't really have any but eventually this is going to be filled up and finally the last shulker box is for villager related things melons and pumpkins that's essentially it now that right there is one of those projects that doesn't look like it would take very much time but it ends up taking absolutely ages anyway i've got all my shulker boxes sorted and i've got the beginnings of a good ender chest i feel like i'm getting good now i want to do some villager trading to get my xp up but also get myself some more resources and i've just very politely asked iskal if i can actually make use of some of his villagers here because he has got two book villagers, which have some rather lovely trades. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, I shift clicked. Um, we have now enough Silk Touch books for the rest of the season. So that's, I guess, good. <laughs> I've also now spent all of my emeralds, but I should now have enough mending books to be able to get it on all my armor and also all my tools. <laughs> this girl's just snuck in. <laughs> He's just taken the diamonds that left. We might never see him again in Hermitcraft Season 7. Anyway, I'm now back over at my villagers, doing a bit of extra trading just to try and get my emerald supplies back up, essentially, and also trying to get some levels because, look, this is, like, the best way to do it. This is far better than any XP grinder. This it does definitely feel wrong, but it's also right. I had totally forgotten we can trade iron for emeralds. 
And we have an iron farm over there that is producing many thousands of iron per hour. This seems like a good move. I just had to buy about a hundred iron helmets, so this best be worth it. Four iron for one emerald? That seems like a good deal to me. And obviously, eventually, all of these trades are going to get even cheaper when we get our zombies in. Right, with that villager breeding, I managed to get myself some levels. I thought that would come with more enchantments than just that. <laughs> that is literally the worst. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sweeping Edge is really useful, but Sweeping Edge on its own is a bit pants. I really need to get myself set up with some form of XP grinder. This just isn't quite going to do. I mean, look at the level that I've had to stoop down to. Look, I've just bought a bell and <laughs> it gave me next to no XP. Are, we, are you joking, mate? I just... I don't even need this. So I've been asking around and apparently there is an Enderman grinder. Now that is totally news to me, but if there is, I definitely, definitely need to make use of it. I mean, I definitely could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not seeing any evidence of one. Am I going mad? Something tells me this isn't what people were talking about when they said that there was an Enderman farm, but I can't for the life of me find it. So we're gonna have to resort to this old school method. I would swear on my life that Mojang have secretly nerfed enchantments because seriously, like the options that I keep getting are terrible. Okay, fine. I I take it back, I take it back. And after about two more hours of enchanting and gathering up XP very gradually, we are getting there. <laughs> we are finally getting there. So I've got myself set up now with kind of all the components I need to actually have fully enchanted tools. The only thing that I didn't have was infinity on my bow and I thought I would kick myself if I didn't just check. Crafted up a bow. <laughs> oh. It's such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. I do now have to get 30 levels from scratch though because I just used all of them in an anvil. But we have now totally nailed it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Mending all through. Mending all through. Silk touch as much as I can. We've got the fortune pickaxe as well. We are set. We are 100% set. I honestly can't think of anything else that I could possibly do to get good. I've got I've got the shulker boxes. I've got the ender chest set up. So that's all good I've got myself the villager trades going. I've got a sustainable food source. I have all of the top enchanted gear I've got an elytra. I mean There isn't anything else surely. There's nothing else. Okay There's something that I'm quite embarrassed to admit and that is the fact that I never actually connected up my base to the nether So I feel like that could be that could be something now. I think about it. Uh, hopefully Yes <laughs> Okay, well that now I'm getting good. Is there anything else really obvious that I'm missing? I mean, I guess I'm breaking through on my axe. That's... Uh, yeah. I hadn't realized there was a shop in town that actually sells this. That seems handy. I really don't know why I don't check this place before I start doing things. Because I, I spent I spent an awfully long time looking for Unbreaking 3 in my enchanting table. Anyway, one thing that I want to point out in my video. I know all of the hermits have mentioned this, but I personally haven't actually spoken about it is the new way in which we're buying up plots in the shopping district. So in previous seasons, it was kind of a free-for-all. It was just land for the shopping district and people could build shops anywhere. Well, in this season, we're actually having to buy up plots. So it's one diamond block for 100 blocks, which if you want it to be perfectly square is 10 by 10. If you wanted to build a 50 by two plot, then go right ahead. If you want to build the weirdest store in the world and all of these diamonds are going to pile up in the center right here. And I absolutely love this idea. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to watch this diamond pile grow over the course of season seven. Anyway, back over at my base now. I think, I think the time has come. I think the time has come to inform the G-Man that actually everything has gone to plan and I have managed to complete the challenge. So let's just craft up a little minecart chest. Walk on over to whatever this zone is called, the Hobbit Hole inside the Hobbit Hole. <laughs> and I think... I think we can nudge this message off into the sunset. I got good lol. You know what? I'm quite proud. Okay, I'm quite proud because that was that was quite a big undertaking for someone as useless as me throughout this episode. We have managed we managed to conquer the end, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to get myself some Elytra, which is pretty sweet. Some enchanted gear. We've managed to get ourselves fully set up with a whole bunch of different things. It's been a fun, fun, fun episode to record. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. And it was at that moment that he remembered the beacon. <laughs> the beacons count. Do I need a beacon to get good? Oh, gosh. I hope I don't.
I really do hope I don't. Anyway, this has been a really fun episode to record. Feels like an old school Minecraft episode. But if you want to watch more stuff, latest film has just released. If you're interested in cars at all, give it a watch because it's good for your eyes and your ears.